guys. Hope you're well. I'm Chris. I'm Average Beer Dude. Welcome to another episode of Average Beer Dude TV. It has been uh, probably a good seven or eight months since I've recorded a video and I figured uh, why the fuck not? Let's go ahead and dig right back in and uh, see what we can do. Gonna do one take. Um, hope for the best. Today I have kind of a different one. Um, I've decided to give Tavor a try. For those of you who aren't familiar with what Tavor is all about, they're a subscription beer box where you can basically order as many beers as your heart desires and have them shipped to your house. Um, I don't know if they ship all across the United States or what they do, but they ship to California. I figured why the hell not, let's give this thing a try. Um, I opted for some kind of mix pack. I have no idea what's in here, so I just figured I would film a video and uh, see what's inside and see what the whole Tavor experience is all about and post about it, just in case it's useful to anybody out there. So uh, without further ado, I think we're gonna go ahead and dive right into this box. It is a, uh, a big one. I'll try to uh, talk around this and like cut this thing open and then we'll pull things out and see what we're working with. Um, I opted to kind of do a mixture of different beers. Um, they offer up a service where um, you can kind of determine what beers you like and, uh, and ta-da, everything's in the box. So uh, let me push this aside. Um, for what it's worth, I don't know if, I, if you guys can see this or not, but it's packed up pretty nicely. Um, they do a good job for making sure that these uh, cans and bottles don't explode. So uh, that's the first thing I notice. Uh, no explosions, which is always a plus. Let's see, well, I'll put this down here. Um, cool. So uh, when I did this package, I said that I liked uh, like sour beers, IPAs, hazy IPAs, stouts, and things like that. So uh, the first one I just pulled out of here is from a brewery that I have had before out of Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. This is Westbrook, and this is uh, one of their Gozas, the Key Lime Pie Goza. Kind of a cool one. <clears throat> Pull out the cans first here and see what we got. Um, oh, sweet, this is cool. This is from another brewery I've been wanting to try for a long, long time. I've actually been hearing about a lot from uh, Uncap Everything. Uh, Monday Night Brewing, they're out of Atlanta, Georgia. This is an Imperial Stout called Dark, Dark Subject Matter. It's kind of a cool can. Um, Kind of freaky actually, but uh, but cool nonetheless. Uh, another can we have here, um, a coffee stout from Copper Kettle Brewing in Denver. Um, cool, cool can. Uh, I've heard of Copper Kettle before. Um, I grew up in Denver. I don't believe these guys were around when I was around there, but uh, super pumped to try these guys. And we have a dark mild there. Is this from Three Mags? Yep. Uh, this is from Three Magnets up in Washington. This is a mild ale, dark mild ale, 4.6%. Um, never had this one before, so pumped to give that a try. Uh, now I'm gonna dig into the bottles. Um, <laughs> cool. Here's one from Adright Theory. Um, I've heard a lot about these guys. <laughs> you can even, wow, they even have cigar pairings on here. That's fucking cool. Um, this one is, uh, is, I think it's called Elegy. Kind of a cool uh, offering there, the cheese pairing, food pairings, um, and some kind of uh, <laughs> interesting verbiage here on the back, gnawing away at your mortal soul. Damn, it's intense. They're out of uh, Virginia. Here's one, uh, oh cool, whoa, this is kind of weird. Um, this is from Plan B Farm Brewery, they're out of New York. This is a New York wild ale brewed with potatoes. Uh, it's called Best Spuds. You can kind of check that out. Pretty cool looking. Got a nice little wax job on top there. Trying to give that one a try here soon. Here's one from uh, a Pinot Noir Barrel Aged Sour. Um, this one's out of Michigan. Very cool. Uh, this one's called Paris. Um, it's from November 2018. And... Uh, Brewery of Vivant, kind of a cool one. I really like the uh, the cap on that one too, if you can see that, super cool. Um, I got a couple more other ones in here, let's see. Highland Charge, We Heavy Scottish Ale, Heathen Brewing out of Vancouver, Washington, uh, just outside of Portland, cool little wax job on that, that's a, a We Heavy. Got a Bitter Monk, uh, Belgian style double IPA. Oh, cool, it's got Brett, it's Mosaic Dry Hop. This one's from Anchorage Brewing up in Alaska. And last but not least, let's see what we got here. <laughs> cool, this is something I've uh, brewed, I've actually always wanted to try. 
that I haven't got my hands on. Uh, we see these for here from time to time in San Diego, but this is from Jackie O's. This is uh, called Script. It's a grisette Asian wine barrels. So also very cool. Um, super pumped to try all these. Um, you know, varies in price, varies in styles. These guys have all kinds of stuff that they post up um, almost on the daily now. I'm subscribed to their email subscription list and you see stuff pop up almost daily. You get stuff from all over the US, different breweries. Uh, just recently, I think I saw KCBC. Um, I've seen Toppling Goliath on there. I've seen Weldworks uh, most recently, Juicy Bits on there. So they got all kinds of good stuff. Uh, go ahead and check them out. I think it's tavor.com. I know I'm gonna have a good time diving into all these. Stay tuned, I'll probably have some reviews up on my Instagram uh, as soon as possible. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down in the, uh, 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 there we go, uh, bottom right here. We'd appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we'll be bringing more videos to you soon. Cheers. Thank you.